hardcore Iron Man, let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man. Now that we've got those diaries and quests out of the way, let's get back to some good old fashioned skilling. I want to get my thieving level up a little bit before I do Master Farmers and I think the Knights of Ardoin will be a great way to do that. I haven't tested this method out since post nerf where you have to open the money pouches instead of just getting the gold directly, but I imagine it'll still be pretty decent and uh, I'll get a bit of money along the way which will help recuperate the loss of 750,000 gold by making the Dragon Square Shield. So I'm going to test this out, see if it's still pretty decent thieving XP per hour, and I'll let you guys know later. So it looks like I'm going to be getting about 170 to 180,000 XP per hour, depending on how often I can notice that I'm full on these stupid money pouches. But yeah, it's it's not it's really not that bad here. Just pretty chill still. I mean, having to click on it every, I don't know, it's like every minute or so you have to click on it. It's not too bad. Uh, could definitely be worse. But yeah, I think my end goal with this is going to be to get up to 90 thieving before I start doing Master Farmers. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that intermittently. No way I can stay here all the way till 90. I'd get so bored. Here comes our first level up. We are going to hit 86 thieving. Uh, might not seem like much, but honestly, every level here is a pretty big milestone as it reduces your chance of failing, which increases your XP per hour, so it's really nice scaling. I have built and disassembled enough houses for birds to have acquired a new hunter level. This is the only way I train hunter. I know no other methods of training hunter. Alright guys, it's finally time to enter God Wars Dungeon on my hardcore Iron Man. For dragon boots. I've been sporting these rune boots for way too long. You guys have been bullying me so hard that I finally caved. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to kill some spiritual mages, and we're going to get them boots. I, I regret this immensely. 81 defense while going for dragon boots. We have 308 spiritual mage kills, and I don't have them yet. It's a 1 in 128 drop, by the way, my friends. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at 82 defense. I was going to stop at 500 kills, but looky there, 498, we get our dragon boots. Almost 500 kills for this stupid pair of boots. Let's see it. Let's put them on, giving us two strength bonus. Oh my gosh, look at that. That was totally not worth the pain and suffering. <laughs> so for anyone who might be uh, skeptical of whether I really killed 498 of these spiritual warriors. I'm sure there's somewhere. Here we go. 498 spiritual mages right here, and there are my dragon boots. Finally, we just hit 93 fire making at the only place it is bearable to get to 93 fire making at. Hey, look, another fire making level 94. Oh my gosh, no way. We just got a tome of fire. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. We basically have unlimited fire runes for alking now, so we never have to worry about using those. I mean, I know I had a staff of fire, but now I can like use the tome of fire in the offhand. I can use another staff in my main hand. I could, I could, basically, I can have like so many runes on me at once. It's, it's gonna be insane. So I'm insanely. I did not expect to get this on our way to 99 at all. It's quite a rare item, and now we've gotten everything from Winter Todd. I'm pretty sure. Let me go get the collection log. All right, let's open this bad boy up and scroll down to Winter Todd. Oh, no, wait, we don't have a Dragon Axe yet because I haven't gone to DK's because I'm a pussy. Well, you know, the Winter Top world is laggy as all hell, but that does not change the fact that we just got 95 fire making, four levels to go. Honestly, I might just go to 99. This is not bad at all. It's so AFK, and it's like almost 300k XP per hour. Okay, there's a new best giant seaweed run. 148 giant seaweed in two patches. What the hell? Chopping trees. I am still woodcutting. 87 woodcutting. I love these magic trees, man. They are so AFK. Don't ask why I'm still woodcutting here. I don't have an answer. There's 88 woodcutting. Ah, my favorite time of the year. Farming level time. 96 farming. Three more to go until the big 99. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been woodcutting magic logs forever, just AFKing. But this is important, guys. Come on. We just hit 89 woodcutting and therefore also just hit 2,000 total level on the Hardcore Iron Man. I never believed I'd make a Hardcore Iron Man past 1,500 total level, but here we are at 2,000 total. Still alive somehow. Ah, oh, that number looks good. Now, to be fair, it is September 7th. I did not finish this goal before the end of August, so you can still laugh at me a little bit. But just know, still alive, that's what matters. Oh, plus only one more woodcutting level until we can do redwood trees, which as you all know are like the most AFK thing in the game, and they're super amazing because I'll be able to use those redwood logs for birdhouse runs, which means a lot more hunter XP and a lot more birds nests. 
Oh yes, looky there, level 90 woodcutting. That means we can now chop redwood trees. Yes, I cut magic logs all the way from 85 to 90 woodcutting. What was I thinking, you might be asking? I have no idea. Let me put in my bank pin real quick and show you exactly how many magic logs I've cut. It's unholy. Okay, here we are. Let's put these last four away real quick and go to my logs tab. Oh, you know, just about 9,000 magic logs. Uh, I, w I don't know. I, I don't have any excuse for this. This is not holy behavior, like I mentioned. Now, my plan for these is to cut them all into magic longbows, string them, and then alk them, which is going to be a ton of GP, like a ton of GP. I believe magic longbows, when strung, Halk for about 1,500 gold each, so this is going to be about 13.5 mil in alkables if my math is correct in my head, so we got to get 85 fletching first, which I'm going to do by buying more broad arrows and fletching them, but for now, I think I'm going to head up to these beautiful redwood trees and just see how amazing they are. 91 wood cutting, I can say with certainty that redwoods, they're, they're good. It's finally time for me to get that 85 fletching so we can start working on this magic log stack. Unfortunately, to get to 85 fletching with broad arrows, it's going to cost me about 4.5 million gold. We've only got 2.8 million gold, so I got to muster up some more cash. I got all the alkables I could find in our bank, and we're going to go do the best activity in old school RuneScape. That's right, Alk Agility. Let's go. Okay, last Alk right here, and we got 4.3 mil in extra gold. <laughs> Oh man, this is beautiful. I didn't think I would get this much, honestly, and now I can finally spend this money to make money. So here's what our beautiful cash stack looks like before we buy these broad arrowheads, 7.2 mil, and here's what it looks like after. All right, there's the cash stack now, 3.1 mil. <laughs> that hurts, but this is going to be a lot of fletching XP, so it's okay. So here is where we're going to be fletching at, Pest Control, everybody's favorite fletching destination on an Iron Man. I'm going to be going for full Void equipment while we're here. I don't know if these are going to last me long enough to get it, but if I'm enjoying the Pest Control grind, then I will keep at it until we get Void. We'll see, though. There it is, my friends. The final game of Pest Control is done. 1,250 Void Knight Commendation points. I have no idea how long this took. It was a good little while, and I've been fletching the whole time. We're almost through all of our broad bolts, but uh, yeah, we now have enough points to acquire full void and all of the helmets, so let's go ahead and do that. Make sure I don't mess up, because I would be eternally sad if I accidentally bought the void knight mace or something terrible like that. It has no use outside the collection log, of course, and I did buy that on my main account, because, you know, that's just how it goes. So just the Ranger Helm now and the Melee Helm. And we have full Void on a Hardcore Iron Man. Now, to be fair, we do still need to get Elite Void, which we can't get until we do the Western Province Hard Diaries, I believe. We have most of the requirements for that, if not all of them, I believe. But we need 400 extra points for that. So I'm going to continue doing uh, Pest Control here until I get those 400 points or until I finish making these bolts. And extra Pest Control points never hurt either because you can exchange them for Prayer XP. It's one of the best methods of leveling your Prayer on a Hardcore Iron Man. Iron Man or Ultimate Iron Man, so it's, it's good. All right, here we go. Last arrow to be made, and there is 85 fletching. We can now make magic longbows. Time to say goodbye to Pest Control. It was very good having you, buddy. And it was totally worth doing this to get the full void while we were leveling our fletching. Um, probably in the future, when we go for 99 fletching, I will uh, do my broad arrows here just to get some extra prayer XP. So now it is time to get cracking on a very, very big grind, fletching all 9,000 of these into magic longbows. The XP per log is what 92 and then I'm gonna bowstring them so it's like 181 182 XP per magic longbow so it's pretty good we're gonna get a lot of fletching XP nearly 2 million fletching XP actually from all these magic logs and a ton of money obviously so I'll see you guys in five eternities well here is the last of the magic logs being made into longbows got us up to 87 fletching which is pretty decent now of course once I string these all, we'll be at a much higher fletching level, so let me just get out my bow strings. And, oh, we only have 10. Oh, no, how are we going to get 9,000 bow strings, huh? Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania No, lock. settled. Get, get out of here. No one invited you. All right, this is my swamp now. We're going to be doing some temple trekking to get our bow strings. In case you didn't know, those little reward tokens you get for completing a temple trek can be turned into bow strings. So I think I'm just going to do the easy ones as they are the absolute fastest. Maybe it's not the most efficient way to do it. I don't know, and I don't care to take the time to research it. Let's go. So let's see how many bow string we get from each reward token. Bow strings, claim... 
Oh, there's a hundred. That that literally took me like maybe thirty seconds. So this should be really, really fast. Unless I get the bog thing, then I'm I'm teleporting out of here, man. I ain't dealing with this bullshit. Okay, it's oh my god. I phoned every therapist in Mauritania and sent them Settled's YouTube link. Um, hopefully you can find some help because I just did this for three hours and I'm on the brink of insanity. That man did it for like 500. So I, I really don't want to know what's going on inside of his head. It's, it's probably miserable. But nevertheless, we have 10,000 bowstrings and now we can attach them to our bows. So I'm going to spend a lot of hours really enjoying doing this. And Oh, yeah, also we got the lumberjack outfit. I kind of forgot that existed. I probably should have gotten that before I did did all the woodcutting because that's a lot of XP I, lost, I missed out on. Whoops. There is the last magic longbow. We got to 89 fletching from that. Nearly 5 mil fletching XP total. And we now have 8,961 magic longbows to Alk, which will result in me getting... What is that? 13.7 mil. So that's pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to buy all those nature runes, so it's probably going to be like 11 mil, but that's still a lot of cash. All right, I've hopped around a ton of worlds. I love that the world hop timer is gone, and I bought over 9,000 nature runes. That was not a joke. Do not laugh at that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do some elk agility for a little while. I will not elk all of these in one sitting. This will definitely be a super duper overtime kind of thing. So there's a lot of quests that I still want to get done. Some of these are for diaries, some of these are for just the unlocks, and some of them are going to be just for quest points because once we get to 250 quest points, we'll get another block slot for our Slayer list, which will help us out a lot over time. So starting things off, I think I'm going to work towards finishing the Making Friends with My Arm quest. This will get me an extra herb patch and will make it easier for me to teleport to the Trollheim herb patch. So let's get started. Okay, I'm really hoping I don't mess this up. I'm trying to remember exactly how to make uh, lava runes. I hope this works. I think this is how you do it. Oh, thank God. That's how <laughs> I was so nervous that I was going to waste my talisman and not make them. Okay, we're good. Something's looking a little off about Kraken today, you guys. I think he might have eaten something. All right, any moment now, once all this dialogue is through, we will have completed the Swan Song quest. Got some good rewards, actually. 15k magic, 10k prayer, 10k fishing, 25,000 coins. It's a good quest. It's a good quest. And uh, it is one of two we need to do to make friends with my arm. Now we need to go do Cold War, which is not a very fun quest, but we got to do it, so we'll do it. There we go. Cold War is completed. Such a long quest for, honestly, such little reward. Although, 5,000 agility XP. I know a lot of people that would probably rather do this quest than actually train agility, so I guess that's good. Okay, we're at the part in the quest where there's red text telling you that you are fricked and that if you die here, your life is over. Well, I mean, if I die anywhere, my life is over, so... <laughs> I'm a little scared, honestly, but we got two boss fights ahead of us, that big boy and then mother, so uh, hopefully we don't die. See you guys at the end or at my death screen. Quest complete, and we are still alive. Check it out, Red Helmet. Actually, that boss fight was really easy. I'm glad I made all these Amethyst Arrows, because the Magic Sharp with Amethyst Arrows tore through those bosses like it was nothing. So, best thing about this quest, 10,000 Agility and Mining XP. So good. But actually, the best thing about this quest is access to the mines underneath here. There's a lot of cool stuff we can do with the things that you can mine here. So, I'm going to go ahead, start some mining, and uh, show you guys what I think are the most useful unlocks. So you mine all sorts of crap down here, uh, all these different colored salts which have weird names, and then the base salt, and this bad boy is what you use to combine to make the good stuff. So you combine the base salt with some of this green and red salt, and you make these little stony base salts which let you tr uh, teleport right next to that herb patch in the troll stronghold, and then it took all of them away, so I didn't get to show you the other one, so let me mine another one of these bad boys right here. You combine it with the blue boys, and you get the icy base salt which lets you teleport to the herb patch in Weiss. Also, yeah, we unlocked a new herb patch that is disease free so more of my herbs will live always so that's good i'm gonna make a lot of these things and that well that's all i'm doing well i stuck around in mind here for like forever like two hours or something it probably wasn't that long i'm over exaggerating we got a bunch of these salts and we can actually use these to create fire pits around the game i made a video on this a long time ago you can look it up if you want more info i don't want to bore you guys but i'm gonna go make all these fires because why not boop <laughs> I'm not even going to make a cute noise for this one. This one's just kind of overpowered. I'm not complaining, though. I guess I like it. So there's all the fire pits built. We are done with that fabulous content. And we have a ton of teleports for our herb runs now, which will shorten them a lot. And, of course, the uh, herb patch where your herbs can't become diseased is incredible. It's amazing. So we're not quite out of the woods with quests yet. Yeah, that was a... Oh, damn it. 
So we're not quite out of the woods yet with our questing. Yes, that was a woodcutting pun. Thank you, thank you. I'll take my Grammy later. Uh, but first, we need to get to 250 quest points so I can unlock that extra block slot for Slayer. I think it's just going to be so useful and it will make Slayer that much more fun. So just nine quest points to go. Let's get started. First quest done between a rock. This quest was kind of long and annoying. I, don't, I remember it being more fun than this, but that's okay. It's a good quest. Got a good reward. And we got a free rune pickaxe. How much money is that? 19k. Easy money, baby. One of the best quests in the game ever. Clock tower done with an incredible reward. 500 gold. We're rich, boys. Scorpion catchers done. We caught scorpions. That's, that's a quest for some reason. And on the list of quests that I should have done about 46 years ago, but I never did. Fairy tale part two is done. <laughs> Yeah, I just got to the point where I could use the fairy rings and then I quit. Also, a free 2500 herb lore XP. I was missing out. God, I really should have done this quest a long time ago. Let's put that extra XP into defense, because why not? And we now have the Helm of Nate is not pretty much best in slot melee until I get a Serpentine Helm. And that shit requires Solar Scale. So basically, Helm of Nate is not the best thing ever. And we only need two quest points. And I know just the quest to do to get those two quest points. It's everybody's favorite. Shades of Morton. Honestly, I thought this quest was going to be really bad. That's why I was complaining about it. But there's actually people on the official Shades of Morton world. Like, a lot of people. I made all these flame tear bracelets. I expected to use them all. I didn't use any of them. I mean, it's crazy. Well, we have 250 quest points now. We have unlocked another block slot on our Slayer list. What are we going to block? I'm not quite sure. Once I start doing Slayer again, I think it'll become more apparent to me what I want to block, what the most annoying tasks are, but we will just have to wait and see. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to end things off here, you guys. I really appreciate y'all's support. If you want to support the channel further, make sure to drop a like on this video. Follow me over on Twitch and Twitter. Links are in the description. Also, I want to say I do want to upload these Hardcore Man videos more often. I just spend most of my week working on the collection log series, but I will try my hardest to get these Hardcore Iron Man videos out at least once every two weeks, but I'm going to be pushing for once a week. No promises though, because I'm terrible at keeping promises. I love you guys, and I will see you next time where I will get at least one skill to 99. Which one could it be? I've got a couple really close ones. Leave your guesses in the comments. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.